All right, welcome to part two of our picture call app. Part two, what we're going to be doing is setting up the blocks. When we set up the blocks, we're actually programming our app to work. And we're also going to be connecting to our device. For most of you, that will be the emulator. The emulator is the virtual phone that will run. So what I suggest, let's go ahead and connect first. Um, if you guys have your own phone, you can connect via USB. I've got USB cords for you, or the Owl Companion. And I can come around and I'll show you guys how to set that up. For most of you guys, you're going to select the emulator here. And I'll go ahead and do that. It'll say Connecting Starting Emulator. And then it'll bring up something that looks like this. This is your emulator. Okay. Um, you also want to make sure your AI starter is open before you do that. Um, for our computers, when you start up the computer, it should already be there. Device equals emulator. So I can see mine is running. If it's not running, you can go in the programs folder and open it up right there. Alright, so I've got mine going there. Alright, so what we're going to do is start programming it. I'm going to click on the blocks here. Okay, And you've got your blocks, you've got built-in. These are some different built-in controls. Under screen one, you'll see your different components that you put in. So the top button, the top pick, and the phone call. We're going to go, you want to start with the top button. So you want to click on that, and you want to select this block that says when the top button is clicked, do this. And you just left click and drag it. So we want our app to work by, when we click the top button, we want it to make a phone call. So, and school's officially out. Just kidding. All right, so I'm going to continue here. You're going to select the phone call one block, and you're going to select call, phone call one, make phone call. So when we click the top button, it's going to make a phone call. And remember, on phone call one, we set the number, the phone number. The next thing we're going to do is set up our phone picker. So you're going to go to top pick, and you're going to select when top pick after picking, do this. So we want, when we click that top pick, it's going to go to this phone call one. And I selected the wrong one here. If you select the wrong one, you can just drop it on the trash can. Eats it. Y'all hear that? <laughs> nice. All right. So we want it to set phone call, phone number two. And then we're going to set it to the top call, phone number. Just like that. And, you know, you guys may be looking, if you didn't name it exactly like Top Pick or Top Button or Phone Call 1, you can always look and match it up to whatever you had named it. All right. So we're going to go back to the designer here. And basically, what you want to do at this point, you should have your emulator up. And you just left-click the button. And when you do that, you should see that the phone starts dialing that number. Okay? Uh, if you have a real phone, it'll work. The emulator will dial. It's not actually calling because we don't have service. So I'm just going to hit the hang up button. I just hung up on my mother. Just kidding. Um, all right. And then, then with this one, we'd have to reconnect. So you're going to reset your connection and then connect back to the emulator. Basically, you want to show me that you created it and it worked, and I will give you a hundred on it. It's that simple. If it doesn't call, then you need to retry or reattempt putting together the blocks. But basically, that's it for the picture call. You've got the picture call button, and then you have the press and press to pick a number. And with this one, it'll show up that you don't have any numbers in the emulator unless someone's put them in. So. This is used to bring up contacts in your phone. All right. 
and that's it.